Hi everyone. Today we are here with uh, Dr. Mahesh Bhatt. He is a surgeon, author, and public health consultant. So, uh, Dr. Bhatt, thank you so much for being here with us. We are very obliged to have you here today with us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. And uh, today we will be talking about your new book, The Inquisitor, which talks about the neurobiological ecosystem of spirituality. religions philosophies and science inside the human brain so before we start with uh, the book inquisitor uh, maybe know about how long have you been writing um i am uh, i am writing poems and uh, uh, articles and uh, so many other things in newspapers and <laughs> on various platforms Uh, for last many years i can say since my uh, days in my college uh but sincerely i am writing books after 2018 and 2018 my book was published and that, that was spiritual health so since then i am um... all right so um since uh, you are an mbbs uh, student and also you started writing poems from a very young age uh, so uh, what was your writing inspiration i mean being a biology student being a doctor what made you feel like that you should write about something um um i am a surgeon basically i am a, a specialized in gastroenterology okay uh, the inspiration is uh, the people you know the people whom i uh, connect to whom i interact during my professional and uh, other uh, dimensions of life uh, their struggle uh, their innovativeness their creativity and how they try to solve the problems and how they uh, look at the life uh, in a at, in a whole so uh, these are uh, the inspirations uh, generally i took my inspirations from them my patients their relatives uh, how they react in when they are in uh, in some kind of uh, urgency emergency uh, these all creates uh, the fine inspirations for me i can say okay so since you are saying that uh, you know Uh, your patients and your patients relatives are kind of the inspiration so uh, how did you uh, come up with the theme and title of this book why did you write about brain all of a sudden if you know the brain is the important organ in the human body isn't it yes <laughs> so if the yeah. brain <laughs> so uh the the you know the the things will be a uh, different would, would have been totally different um basically we human beings we have a lot of thoughts thought processes we have a complex ecosystem of thought processes that is created uh in our mind or and uh, the the hardware behind that creation is the brain the human brain you know so uh uh this book inquisitive uh, in fact is not uh, only about brain so since the brain uh, you can say is the root the brain is uh, uh, is something from where all kind of uh, the due to all kind of the physiological processes and evolutionary biology are uh, the thought process they started and they the thought the different uh, various kinds of the thought processes they produce the thoughts and these thoughts are very important in the life of human beings they impact our daily life day to day life they impact our personality they affect our health much and they affect our not only the physical health but our social health our mental health and our spiritual health so uh, these kind of uh, the, uh, the these things which are uh, behind uh, this book the inquisitive okay so uh, is uh, all these things uh, 
uh, in a simple word is inquisitive and you are describing brain as uh, the word inquisitive right in the book uh brain is uh, you know this uh, this is uh, in a sim- uh, if, if i would like to make it simplistic uh, this in simplistic manner you can say that brain is the hardware you know so uh, the anatomy the physiology biochemistry and all other parameters are essentially same of all the brains of the species homo sapiens all the brain. but the mind is something but you can say the software of the brain you know so the mind is uh, created by the thoughts that is created by the learnings the create that is created by the memories so those can be good memories bad memories those uh, the learnings uh, the environment uh, our uh, our social and uh, uh, biological and environmental setup all that creates our mind so a person with a simple, uh, with certain kind of uh, specific training or a specific uh, learning can create an all together different kind of brain so a person who is working in home daily who the homemaker has got a very intelligent brain so intelligent is equal but a person who is a who is working as in uh, in very uh, different kind of atmosphere say some somebody is working in uh, the spiritual environment has got a the uh, a different set of the thoughts and those thoughts it means they they with with same kind of uh, the iq their eq may be different so their emotional question uh, quotient may be different from a different set of uh, perspectives okay so uh, you are saying that eqs are different from uh, people who are brought up or built in different environment that is true but uh, what about the iq uh, is iq the hardware of the brain or the software of the brain i mean uh, sorry software of the uh, um, human head so is it uh, if, how do you consider iq it is, is it the brain part or the mind part iq i will consider uh, it is both you know this because iq will depend on your genetics in your yes. genes yes. iq will depend in, in your environment iq will depend if even you, your iq will depend in this in this that uh, what exactly uh, the mother consumed uh, when the person was in uh, the uh, in utero in the womb so uh, these, there are there are various dimensions uh, which which uh, makes our iq isn't it uh, the yes. environment social the society where you are living your upbringing there are a lot of things into it so i would like to say that uh, iq is created by the human brain but a lot of other things they are uh, they they uh, they work in uh, creating that uh, th- that that dimension that specific dimension which we call uh, as intelligence quotient so intelligence quotient is something that is based on a good hardware means the if until or unless the hardware is not good you you won't be able to get create a good iq or a good software isn't it so a good software even with a poor hardware uh, is will create problem so it requires both yes absolutely so coming to uh, we have you know, discussed a lot about human brain and human mind so coming to uh, the main thing that you have wrote about the cognitive revolution So, can you brief us about the cognitive revolution that happened seventy five thousand years ago? Yes, cognitive revolution is very important uh, uh, happening in uh, the throughout uh, the evolutionary history of the species Homo sapiens, which created human beings out of a simple biological species, and okay. this because of this. a uh, revolution we uh, started thinking differently we started having our own thoughts and thought processes and uh, we started learning we started uh, language we started question 
questioning the things which are happening around us we started you know thinking about the things in depth so we started going into deep in, uh, so the philosophy was created a different kind of the knowledge streams they started um, sprouting out with this uh, cognitive revolution and uh, in fact the agricultural revolution which happened uh, around 10000 years uh, it took 65000 years for the cognitive revolution to make the human mind uh, to at at a stage where the this agricultural revolution started uh, you know and it was uh, it was the starting point of the civilization so we started having the societies communities because the agriculture requires a lot of people to, to collaboration they started collaborating each other to make uh, to produce uh, the various kinds of the food and food material they then they started settling somewhere so that is that started creating villages and uh, uh, your video um mr dr bhat is uh, offline for a while just we we'll just wait for him to come back uh we have dr bhat back with us again so, uh, yeah it is there was some problem i think there there was a disconnection yes, absolutely it's all right so we got you back here again and we were discussing yeah. about the cognitive revolution that happened 75000 years ago yeah so the this agricultural revolution that was a flash point for creating the societies creating the communities creating the villages cities and uh, different kind of other things then uh, there there was a lot of uh, development since then and we are here in 2022 uh, you know the humanity has got all its uh, the civilizational uh, you know uh, uh, marvels you can say technological scientific and all those uh, streams knowledge takes us human and uh, which put us at the top of the animal kingdom uh is because of the cognitive revolution okay so since uh, you have written about cognitive revolution and also you differentiated between human mind and human brain um just one second doctor what your uh, video is not available okay. there is a problem with it and uh, somebody is, is calling fact so I just want to end and accept. All right. Is it so right? Since, yes, yes, that's fine. I can see you now. So, uh, Doctor Bhat, since you were talking about um, a human brain and you were differentiating between human brain and human mind, and also you were talking about cognitive evolution. So let me ask you that what made you write about cognitive revolution and what difference did you uh, want to portray between the human brain and the human mind? What is the difference exactly? I mean, there's a lot of similarities, but what defines the difference? Well, see, there is, you know, there is. Uh, I I would like to say there is uh, no difference. The difference is only that the human brain, <laughs> human brain is the hard hardware. and the, the the software that is created by this hardware is the human mind so all kind of the thought processes different kind of uh, the thoughts that like religious socio cultural thoughts scientific thoughts philosophical thoughts and the spiritual thoughts that makes the human mind and uh, uh, various uh, the inputs in in the form of the the our uh, social learning our cultural teachings our religious and belief systems they create they uh, they impact these thoughts these thought processes and uh, that is the reason that uh, they these uh, all these uh, thought processes make the human beings uh, the human they we have uh, 
uh, we uh, we have our thoughts which can bring us anywhere uh, uh, our thoughts they are they don't have any boundaries don't don't have any limits so within friction of second our thoughts can bring us to a totally different dimension and within the friction of second we can go into a very depressed mood and we can be annoyed with anybody and that can spoil the things so this is uh, the uh, so since we are talking about uh, this thing uh, i would also like to ask a question that every layman you know every layman we ever meet always says that you know think with your heart not with your mind and uh, i just wanted to ask that uh, is our our hearts are not capable of you know any thinking so why do people you know keep on saying the thing with your heart and not your mind or why is that so what do we actually uh, think with in the mind right okay uh, so everybody knows it that heart Uh, the work of the heart is just to pip, just to pump the blood. Uh, yes, you know, yes, that is my point. And to the brain, yes. isn't? So yes. that way, heart is very very important organ in our body to make all the organs function normally. Uh, our good heart is very necessary for the functioning of the brain and uh, for. Yes. For a good pain, and I think that is the reason that people say this. Uh, they have this thought that uh, uh, if if you really want to have a good brain, you must have a good heart. Uh, but biologically, uh, the the function of the brain is just to think, and the function of the heart is just to pump the blood to the uh, brain and or other organs, and uh, just uh, you know. Uh, to oxygenate because oxygen is very important for the working of the brain and specifically it is it's true about the brain because if we, the brain will not have oxygen for more than 10 minutes uh, more than more than 3 minutes not 10 minutes i'm sorry uh, mm -hmm. more than 3 minutes uh, the brain will get dead so you you must have uh, heard about the brain dead people so many times what happens the, the person is brain dead the brain is not working but all other organs they are working normally yes, and most yes. of the reason is that uh, this the, the oxygen could not reach to the brain and if this duration is more than 3 minutes then it becomes irreversible so uh, it will create uh, a problem so i think because heart is very important just to uh, for the functioning of the brain uh, that's why it is a uh, uh, the thinking and if this thinking evolves that a good heart is 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 good for a good brain okay so basically you are saying the more healthy you are the more uh, blood is pumped by the heart and it goes to goes to all the organs and you know we think better so this is uh, the key to be healthy right uh, you you may say this uh, you may say this but uh, it is not that it's not exactly biologically uh, it is it is the simplistic <laughs> nation but yes a healthy body will have a healthy mind and a, yes. a healthy body have a healthy heart so healthy heart and healthy mind both of them if if they will work uh, in a synchronized manner in a balanced manner so it will create a good personality and a good personality will be very conducive for the better functioning of the society better functioning of uh, the uh, the humanity i would like to say absolutely so uh, since we are talking about all these things i want to ask you that uh, it, it is about the human brain that you have written in the book the inquisitor so um, obviously not all the uh, doctors are going to read it even the layman and the normal people are also going to read the book so what was your purpose for writing a book about the human brain Ah, uh, then uh, let me uh, you know uh, make it clear that this book inquisitive is about the human thoughts, human thought process. Okay. The brain was because you know the brain comes into uh, this uh, in, uh, into this writing because brain creates the thoughts. So, or uh, just to make things clear, necessary to uh, mention uh, the certain uh, functions and certain parts of the brains, uh, brain. But you know. 
most of the time in this book the things are written in uh, not going in, uh, into into the uh, very scientific jargon of the words uh, so this book is for uh, common people so even the the doctors the healthcare professionals they can read it and a common man also can read it and they can uh, they can get some uh, some uh, some idea about the thought process about the thinking of the the uh, the human brain and human mind and how those thoughts they impact they have the impact on our physical social and mental health as well as our physical and social life so uh, that kind of the impact and how we define spirituality spiritual thought process and how it is different from the religious thought process because most of the time uh, we took the spirituality as if it is religiosity so there is a difference between spirituality and religiosity both of them they are different kind of thought process the religious thought process that uh, is the primitive thought process the human form of this uh, the the herd formation thought of herd formation of the animals you know in uh, you must have uh, seen the uh, uh, the uh, animals in the jungle they they live in the herds so the herd form their necessity just to produce for the security purpose and for the food purpose so uh, this herd mentality is very primitive mentality uh, primitive animal mentality and this the religious and social and socio cultural thought process is the evolved form of that herd mentality of the animal kingdom so in fact that is the evolved form we took it in our evolutionary journey from our ancestors in animal kingdom to our evolutionary process so this is the uh, the primitive thought process the spiritual thought process is something which is very unique to human beings generally the uh, the animal in animal kingdom the spiritual thought process uh, will be seen in, in very rudimentary form so uh, uh, the uh, the spiritual thought process the spirituality makes us uh, the human beings so spiritual thought process try to make the balance it is the it is a thought which uh, is a communicating and correcting thought process in the ecosystem of the human brain so whenever the religious thought process the scientific thought process or the philosophical thought process they started going into the negative direction say some scientist or scientific thought process started thinking about to create a atom bomb somewhere so there is uh, immediately that uh, these in uh, in our collective uh, humanity the positive thought process that started uh, coming in and those positive thoughts are about the humanity and human value so all kind of the humanity and human values wherever you see in any religion is always the positive thought process which is pro life and uh, which is uh, good for our health so whenever we think about the positive things it it has uh, immediate impact on our health so it is not only our on our physical health but it also helps in our mental health to make us robust at our mental level and our social health it makes us you know uh, we started uh, helping others so if we will help others the people will started helping us so simultaneously what happens they have started a collaboration and that collaboration lead to uh, uh, many things so whatever the human beings they uh, they could they could they could uh, do in last uh, um, thousand of years just to reach over here in 20 in 21st century uh, is because of their collaborative nature they can collaborate uh, and there is i think uh, uh, no other species in animal kingdom can uh, do this uh, with the with the precision with what the human beings can do and that is the reason that is the uh, the story that is the reason behind the success of the species homo sapiens as human beings all right so uh, that is great uh, and i would like to know that uh, as a not as a doctor but as an author i would like to know that what kind of message did you want to convey in this book and uh, do you think you did a good job with uh, conveying the message to the doctors and to the layman all of over india and all over the world yeah the, the most of the time i uh, since uh, 
uh, working in public health for last uh, many years, say 25 years. Uh, I have seen the uh, every day I am uh, seeing the incidences and those are happening because the people they are being exploited on the name of the spirituality, you know. So uh, a lot of who are surfacing on the media that uh, you know the 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 uh, uh, the physical exploitation of the young girls uh, of uh, this uh, uh, on the name of the spirituality. You know, spirituality is something everybody wants to. Uh, to go to that area, to that brain of this spirit, and, and to just to uh, uh, have their spirituality, they either follow some the, some religion, they either follow some guru, they either follow some uh, some belief system, and the aim is just to find the, their spirituality and what is the spiritual uh, thought in their brain. So what happens since everybody is running after it? So it creates a good uh, a point for the vested business interest, vested political interest, vested uh, other social and socio-cultural and religious interests as well. So uh, these, uh, this, this leads to a lot of negativities in the, uh, in the society. So uh, the aim of this book is just to define the spirituality in, in a the very scientific manner, when uh, a very research bit, this book is based on my research, research of last many years. Uh, it is based on that research and that is the simplification of many uh, research papers I published on this issue in, in public health. And uh, uh, so uh, we try to define here just to make it clear because you know I have seen the people that the, the patient, they are suffering from the cancer, they went to somewhere and uh, some Baba started uh, telling them that, yes, I can cure you. And uh, this is the reason then you take this and you take that or you do, you do this puja, you do this ritual. And uh, yeah. that way they get exploited, not only uh, in the sense of uh, the physical exploitation, but many times the economic exploitation as well. And when they reach us to the... Uh, the, the surgeons and the, uh, the medical care givers at that time their uh, their tumor or their cancer is in the fourth stage where they cannot get treated so uh, that is that kind of uh, the cases i have seen a lot of cases in my uh, the, the practice so this was the reason behind it and a lot of things happened here uh, during last few years that uh, how on the name of on the on the name of their uh, spiritual uh, <laughs> spirituality and religion and etc et yes yes absolutely so uh, we are going to come to an end and as we are running a little short on time but i can see behind you is the inquisitive book so can we please uh, get a look of the cover page and uh, inquisitive book please yeah i'm uh, read i want to read uh, not read, uh, just show the book as I can see the book uh, behind yes. you. We are having a little short on time. Yes. So, uh, yes. yes, just uh, can you just show the. Yes. Yeah. Huh. Uh, just say something so that uh, your face can be seen in the camera. Yes, this way. Yes. yes. Is it okay. good? Yes, this is uh, great. So today uh, we, are, we have done uh, our interview about the Inquisitive. It's a very interesting book and it's also um, one of the very, uh, I mean, I think everybody should read it to, uh, in order to understand the human brain and human mind and intelligence and emotional uh, EQ and IQ and everything. So it's a great uh, book to you know, start uh, about knowing yourself. So thank you so much, Dr. Bhatt, for being with us. It's been a, a it's been a pleasure to talk to you for uh, this long. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, the book, The Inquisitive, you will find uh, in the link down below, in the caption down below. So please uh, go to our website and uh, please order this book because I think more and more people should 
read this book and uh, more and more people should you know spread the word about human brain and the human mind and the cognitive revolution and there's so much to learn about this book so thank you so much dr bhat uh, we hope to see you again and please have a great day thanks thank you bye bye bye